I am Hall of Fame coach Van Chancellor. This is my van. This is Coaches in a Van with Coach Van. Coach, y'all are eligible for the NCAA tournament to win the conference and all of that. Uh, how does it feel and how, is it much easier to motivate players with that situation? Well, down the stretch, uh, when you can't go to a tournament, it's really tough. Now, we were fortunate enough to go to the CIT, but it's not the same as going to a conference tournament and having an opportunity to play in the NCAA tournament. So I think at the end of the year, it really made a difference. The practices are different. and You know, kids get hurt, and they're in the training room. When you go to a tournament, nobody gets hurt. Everybody wants to practice and play hard. Yeah, I agree with that. <laughs> uh, as you look at your team and you want to qualify to come to Katy and then win it, name me a couple of areas that you feel like your team has to improve between now and that time. Well, our rebounding has been terrible. Uh, we've been uh, – there's no excuse. Uh, we've given up 10 to offensive rebounds, in which those, those are almost 100% shots, and our defensive rebounding needs to really improve. If we rebound, uh, I think we can play with anybody. And then I think our second thing is some of the players that played a lot, how do they accept not playing as much because we have better players coming in. I've always thought that one of the things in, in college coaching is you out-recruit what I call beyond players. You get players better than those players. I think that's a difficult transition. Do you agree with that, or what's your thoughts along those lines? Well, I agree 100%. Will the players mix well with the young players, the new and the young mix? And then we develop that bench, which is uh, – really needed because there's a lot of bus rides at the end of the year guys get hurt the flu so on and so forth so you need a good bench okay coach th this is a lighter question when you're not coaching you kind of at the house or you whatever what do you like to do when you're not coaching basketball well, I think everybody knows I like the water you know I like the, I like the water and I like to watch uh, what general managers do in the NBA you know as far as putting teams together and different things so I'm at the water watching uh, watching NBA games. Well, when you watch NBA games, I'll ask you one NBA question. What do you think about players resting? Now you got the, I'll give you my opinion when you get through. Players what? Resting. You know, setting out back-to-back -back games. The money they make, I've seen you in clinics, Coach, and, and none of your players would be resting. I can guarantee you that. I don't believe in it. You're, you're, you're paid a lot of money, so people pay a lot of money to go to the game, so produce. I'll go on record. I think as much money as you're making in the NBA, you ought to play every time you play because some kid wants to come see you play. You ought to give them your money's worth. I think this, when you play or when you coach, you ought to, you ought to coach and you ought to play. No question about that. You're 100% right. Well, listen, good luck to you. I hope you have a great year. Welcome. Actually, you've been in this league, but now you're competing for that trophy. That's a big deal, Coach. Have a great year. Thank you very much.